Saturday's prayer, September 28th of 2024. This week I was listening to a little bit of the late pastor Charles Stanley and he was talking about waiting on God. And it had me thinking about what it means to wait. And I want to first go to Isaiah chapter 40 and verse 31. And it says, But they that wait upon the Lord shall renew their strength. They shall mount up with wings as eagles. They shall run and not be weary. And they shall walk and not faint. And then I, I went to see what the definition of wait meant. And the first definition, according to Merriam Webster, it says to stay in place in expectation of. And then it says to serve food and drinks to people sitting, sitting at or to act as a server for. And, and so you have these two type of definitions here for this one word. The first is to wait in expectation so you stand in place and you're, you're, you're expecting something. But then the other says to act as a server. And so sometimes we're waiting for God to do things, but it matters how we wait. You can either just stay in place and twiddle your thumbs and, and just say, okay, I'm not going to move. But then you can also say, you know what? I'm going to serve him as I wait. And so as I'm waiting in great expectation, I'm also serving him. And that's what God wants us to do. He wants us to serve him as we're waiting for him to do whatever it is that we're expecting him to do in our lives. And so it gives a new meaning for this particular text in Isaiah. But they that wait, or you could say they that serve, or they that are holding in place with great expectation. So as I'm waiting and with great expectation, I'm also serving. I'm also honoring. I'm also obeying. I'm also doing what God has called for me to do. So they that serve the Lord shall renew their strength. They shall mount up with wings as eagles. They shall run and not be weary. They shall walk and not faint. So you can say that while I'm waiting, I'm serving. I'm doing what God has called for me to do. And everyone has to ask themselves, am I doing what the Lord would have me to do as I'm in the waiting hole? I might be at the waiting station right now. I might be just saying, I'm, I'm waiting for God to do something with great expectation. But until he does, I'm going to serve him. I'm going to obey him. I'm going to love him. I'm going to walk with him. I'm going to allow him to reign supreme in my life. And so I want to ask you today, are you waiting on the Lord? And when I say wait, are you waiting with great expectation? And in that time period, are you serving God? Are you being obedient to him? Are you loving on him? Because Jesus says that, if you love me, keep my commandments. And so are you obeying what God has for you to do as you wait upon the Lord? And we all have to ask ourselves this question. And so this morning, I want to just pray for those who are in the waiting period or whatever it is that you're asking and believing the Lord to do and whatever promises that he has made in your life that we wait well because it matters how you wait and we want to be found not wanting when he returns but we want to be waiting with great expectation and busily doing what he has called for us to do in these last days 
Dear Heavenly Father, God, we just thank you, God, for allowing us to wake up this morning, Lord. We thank you, Lord, for all the blessings that you have bestowed upon us, Lord. We thank you, Lord, for loving us so much more than we deserve, Lord. We just honor you today, Lord. We praise your name today, Lord. We thank you today, Lord. We thank you for all that you have done. We thank you for all that you're doing. We thank you, Lord, for the things that you've done in times past and the present and the things that you're going to do for us in the future, Lord. We just thank you today, Lord. We honor your name. We praise your name. We love on your name, Jesus. We just thank you, Lord. We thank you, Holy Spirit, for reigning in our lives. We thank you for pouring, pouring an anointing on your people, Lord. We thank you, Lord, for coming down so that we may have life and have it more abundantly so that we will not spend an eternity in the devil's hell but we can spend an eternity with you we just thank you lord for saving us thank you for rescuing us thank you for blessing us thank you for loving us lord we ask lord that you will forgive us for our sins lord we ask that you will wash us clean cleanse us from all impurities lord we ask you lord that you would take out those things that are not like you that are displeasing to you lord and we ask that you will replace it with your spirit with your giftings with your anointings lord we ask lord that we will not do things within our own self but we will allow ourselves to be led by the spirit in the name of jesus lord we pray lord that for the various things that your people have put before you lord that we will continue to serve that we will continue to be obedient that we will continue to do all that you have called for us to do even while we're waiting for some things to take place that you have promised lord we know lord that your word will not return unto you void but it will accomplish everything that you set out for it to do lord and until that time lord as we wait lord we ask that you will help us to wait on you and in waiting we're talking about serve you that we will obey you that we will serve you that we will honor you that we will acknowledge you that we will proclaim your name that we will stand on your word because we know it never returns void and you do not give bounce checks but we can always take that to the bank lord we just thank you lord we honor you lord we ask lord that you we will that you would help us to be obedient to you lord that we will serve you with our whole hearts our whole mind lord we ask lord that as we're waiting lord that we preach your name that we teach your name that we that we represent you well lord and that those who are not saved will want to get to know you lord based upon what they're seeing in us that we are representing you lord that we are honoring your name that we are ambassadors for you that we are soldiers in the army of yours lord we just thank you today lord we praise your name lord as we are waiting on you lord and we wait for your return we await that glorious day lord when you will return and come to take your people home lord we look forward to that day lord that we can see you face to face lord we honor you today and we just want to just say thank you as we wait on you in jesus name yeshua hamashik thank god thank god amen amen amen